Think you know all there is about the land of tea, the queen, and double-decker buses? What if we told you there's a whole other side to England you've probably never uncovered? Brace yourself for a thrilling journey into the depths of the unexpected as we unveil 71 unknown facts about England. Let's reveal the hidden and unmask the familiar like never before. Buckle up, your British history class was never like this. 1. Do you know where the saying good night sleep tight came from? Back in Shakespeare's day, mattresses were fastened to bed frames by ropes. By doing this, you were able to pull the ropes which would make the mattress tighter, therefore making it firmer to sleep on, hence the saying. 2. Did you know that the original London Bridge is no longer in London? It is now found in Lake Havasu City in Arizona, USA. The bridge was transported from London in the late 1960s. In 1968, unable to deal with London's considerable traffic, it was sold to the city for slightly under $3 million. 3. The Dirtle Door near the town of Lulworth in Dorset was formed about 140 million years ago. Today, there are still round ripple marks visible in the rock at the top of the arch, the remains of a fossil forest. 4. Believe it or not, but there is a law in England that permits a citizen to kill a Scot entering the city of York if the said person is holding an arrow above his head. This law dates back to the time of King Edward Longshank's era and for some reason has not been changed since. 5. As for the cuisine, the typical food of UK is roast beef and Yorkshire beef, but the Brits have voted chicken tikka as their national dish. The chicken tikka is actually an Indian recipe. 6. In 2016, the South Downs National Park was granted International Dark Sky Reserve status, making it one of the best places in the country to view the sky at night. Today, they are one of only 16 such reserves in the world. 7. Queen Elizabeth II was the longest currently reigning monarch in the United Kingdom. Second only to Louis XIV of France in the world, the Queen of England was on the throne for over 70 years. 8. The Lizard Peninsula on Cornwall's south coast is the most southerly point of the UK mainland. With only two roads in and out, it is largely undeveloped and has some of the most fascinating geology in the country. It's also teeming with wildlife, particularly bird and marine life. If you're lucky, you can see dolphins, seals, and occasionally even whales. 9. Standing in the middle of the city of London, it feels difficult to believe, but London has so many trees that it falls within the UN definition of a forest. In fact, London has its own official forestry conservator. 10. What do you give a king as a present? Well, at some point in history, someone thought that the answer to that question was a polar bear. Obviously, Henry III kept his pet polar bear chained up outside of the Tower of London. It was next to the Thames, though, so it could catch plenty of fish. 11. One of the oldest cities in the west of England, Bath was once home to Jane Austen, and it's easy to see why she loved it so much. Now, you might not be able to swim in the Roman baths nowadays, but you can still take a dip in the geothermal waters that fell as rain over 10,000 years ago. 12. The British passport was issued in the name of the Queen. As such, Her Excellence didn't need to possess one. During her reign, the Queen visited over 100 different countries and not a single time made it with a passport. 13. There is no point in Britain that is more than 75 miles from a coastline. 14. The great full English breakfast is famed all around the world. However, one item that can certainly be excluded is black pudding. Made up of pig's blood, fat, and spices, it certainly is a dish that disgusts many. 15. Swimming in beer might sound like an absolute dream, but the London beer flood is one of those facts about London that will make you think twice. It all started when a vat of beer in the Moen Company brewery exploded, unleashing a huge tsunami of beer that swept down from Tottenham Court Road to the surrounding streets, leading to the death of eight people. 16. The graceful, elegant swans that are a key feature of every park and riverbank around the United Kingdom all belong to the Queen of England, now King Charles. It has been in law since the 12th century, and to injure one could be considered an act of treason. 17. Even if you find a dead swan, you must turn it over to the crown, to someone known as the Queen's official swan marker. 18. The 19-year-old Queen and her sister, Princess Margaret, managed to sneak out into the streets to celebrate the end of World War II. The Queen has described the event as one of the most memorable nights of her life. She also commented, I remember lines of unknown people linking arms and walking down Whitehall. All of us just swept along in a tide of happiness and relief. 19. A Licensing Act of 1872 essentially bans anyone in England from being drunk anywhere that isn't their private property. 
It's certainly an odd bylaw to have in place when the country hosts more than 35,000 pubs, all of which have the main purpose of drinking. Even so, it's a well-intentioned act that aims to reduce drinking levels in order to keep people safe. 20. The clock tower next to the Houses of Parliament is commonly known as Big Ben. However, that is merely the name of the 13-ton bell inside. The physical tower is known as St. Stephen's Tower. If you're enjoying the video and love to hear about new facts every now and then, please like this video. 21. In 1952, a double-decker bus jumped three feet as the tower bridge was opening. For his bravery, the driver was awarded 10 pounds. 22. The Kirkstone Pass located in the Lake District is a steep, twisty road that is totally paved but curvy and narrow, hitting a harsh 17% of maximum gradient through some of the ramps. Due to its steepness, it was traditionally known as the Struggle. It can get dangerous in the winter when covered with snow and ice. It goes up quite high, and you sometimes get mist at the top. 23. If you were in England, you should consider visiting the Cotswolds, especially during spring or autumn. The buildings in the Cotswolds are typically made using honey-colored oolithic limestone. Their brown color varies across depending on the iron ore content in each local quarry. This soft natural color creates harmonious towns and villages and helps the buildings nestle into the landscape. 24. Did you know that the first postage stamp was created in the UK? It was designed in May 1840 and it featured the figure of Queen Victoria. 25. In Great Britain, there's the Monument of Stonehenge which is claimed to be one of the oldest monuments in the world and one of the Seven's world miracles, by the way. Scientists believe that the object was built over 3000 BC. 26. The famous game of golf was invented in Scotland and today is considered as a national sport. Reliable sources claim that the game was first invented in 1457. The game got so popular among the Scottish that James II banned it because it interrupted the army's practice. 27. Indian restaurants in the UK are a random thing. It is sometimes estimated that there are more Indian restaurants in London than in Indian biggest urban centers like Mumbai or New Delhi. 28. Located on the south coast of England, less than an hour from London by train, Brighton is one of the UK's most popular destinations. Thanks to its cosmopolitan nature, it is sometimes also referred to as London by the Sea. Brighton first became fashionable amongst day-trippers and holidaymakers from London in the late 1700s, when the then Prince of Wales, who became King George IV, became a regular visitor. The palace he built, a beautiful Indian and Oriental-inspired building called the Royal Pavilion, is one of England's most unique landmarks. 29. The Queen of England was famous for the beloved corgis that accompanied her throughout her royal life. However, when her sister Princess Margaret came to visit with her pet Dauchin Pipkin one day, the royals changed both breeds forever. One of the Queen's corgis impregnated Pipkin, and the resulting offspring were dubbed Dorgies a brand new breed of dog, initially bred exclusively by the royal sisters. 30. Robin's Hood Bay is yet among the many beautiful places to visit in England. It is not clear where the name Robin Hood's Bay comes from. However, there is an English ballad and legend that tells a tale of Robin Hood encountering French pirates who had stolen from the poor fishing folk of the northeast coast. The ballad suggests that Robin Hood forced the pirates to surrender and return the bounty to the fishing people of the village that is now called Robin Hood's Bay. 31. When the Romans first invaded Britain in AD 43, they set up an encampment that later grew into the first city of England. This was long before the days of London or Londinium as it was known in those days. Colchester was the first city in the British Isles. Historians believe that one of the main reasons the Romans invaded the islands was because they could not get enough of the delicious oysters and wanted to control the supply. 32. Moving south to the current capital London, we can find yet another cool fact about England. The hidden ice wells that lie beneath King's Cross Station. In the Victorian era, between the years of 1840 and 1900, London was crazy about ice cream. Then came Italian Swiss entrepreneur and immigrant Carlo Gatti. He built two vast wells under his premises in King's Cross in central London. Each was 42 feet deep by 33 feet in diameter. He could store many tons of ice that he would import from the frozen rivers and lakes of Scandinavia. 33. There are 270 active stations on the London Underground, or Tube as it is colloquially known. What you may not have known, though, is that there are also 40 abandoned and shut down stations that still haunt the lines, sitting silent and alone deep underground. 34. 
Every year in Gloucestershire, people gather to roll a wheel of double Gloucester cheese down a steep hill and then chase after it in an attempt to catch it. This has been going on for over 200 years. 35. It is considered an act of treason to put a postage stamp with the queen's head upside down on an envelope. 36. The English language is an amalgamation of German, Dutch, French, Danish, Latin, Greek, and Celtic languages. This is a result of all these cultures playing a significant part in English history, primarily due to invasions from mainland Europe. 38. The country we know as England didn't really emerge until the 10th century AD. Long before that, the land was occupied by various Celt tribes and was known as Britannia during the Roman occupation. 39. England is 74 times smaller than the USA, 59 times smaller than Australia, and 3 times smaller than Japan. Compared to U.S. states, England is about the size of Alabama. 40. You'd be forgiven for thinking champagne was invented in France. In fact, the technique used by Don Perignon already existed in England, which makes the English the inventors of sparkling wine. 41. One of several bizarre ancient rules in English law states that the reigning monarch cannot set foot in England's House of Commons. The law first passed in 1642 when King Charles I interrupted the English Parliament to forcibly arrest five MPs. Since then, only a representative of the monarch, who is known to carry a black rod, can enter the House of Commons. The law still stands today. 42. Due to the invasion of England in 1066 by William Conqueror, a nobleman from Normandy in France, the official main language of England was French for almost 300 years, from 1066 to 1362. 43. Debtors' prisons were very common in England during the 18th and 19th centuries. They were exclusively for people who fell into debt and couldn't repay the money owed. And it was a lucrative business, too. Charles Dickens' father was one of the many people who spent time in a debtor's prison, and Dickens would later write about these institutions, immortalizing them in his literature. 44. Thanks to being an island nation, England's isolation from mainland Europe has made the country impossible to invade, having never been successfully invaded since the Norman Conquest of 1066. However, since the 1990s, England has been connected to France and mainland Europe via an underwater tunnel, allowing for travel by cars and trains. 45. The University of Oxford doesn't have a campus. The colleges and institutes are scattered around the city. 46. The world's most celebrated playwright, William Shakespeare, added approximately 3,000 words to the English language, shaping it to be the language that we know today. 47. The obscene two-fingered gesture associated with the F-word finds its origins dating back to the Hundred Years' War. The story goes that English longbowmen were so despised by the French that any captured archers immediately had their index and middle fingers cut off, so they could never fire an arrow again. As a result, English archers would use the two-fingered gesture to taunt their enemies in battle, to show that they still had their fingers and were using them to kill more Frenchmen. 48. Another strange fact, King Charles III has legal ownership over all the dolphins in the UK and in British waters, as well as sturgeons, porpoises, and whales. Known as fishes royal, any that are caught within three kilometers of the British coast are considered royal property. This statute dates back to 1324 and is still law today. 49. The British Broadcasting Corporation is the country's national broadcaster and the oldest in the world, founded in 1922. It's also the world's largest broadcaster by employee number, over 22,000 people. 50. Lord Byron, the famous romantic poet, is said to have kept a bear while he was a student at Cambridge University's Trinity College in the 1800s. The story goes that Byron purchased this unwieldy pet from Stourbridge Fair, which ran each year in Cambridge and was the largest medieval fair in Europe at its peak. 51. English people are very traditional when naming their children. Some bonus England history facts are that for 18 of the past 25 years, the top girl's name has been either Emily or Emma. The Christian name Mary spent 34 of the past 100 years at the top. For boys, Michael took the top spot for 38 consecutive years between 1961 and 1998. 52. The BBC does not have ads as it is funded by the British viewer. 53. England is the only country in the world that doesn't display its name on its stamps. 54. London's Heathrow Airport is the busiest airport in the United Kingdom and the third busiest airport in the world. 55. 
Since 1947, the Christmas tree in London's Trafalgar Square has been gifted by the Norwegian government. This tradition started after World War II, with the tree being given as a gift to Londoners for their assistance during the conflict. A team of specialists scour the Norwegian forest for suitable candidates all year. They then tend to and nurture the selected trees until they are at a point where they can be delivered to the capital for decoration. 56. St. Michael's Mount is a great place to visit the tranquil and beautiful city of Cornwall. The most famous fairy tale in connection with the mount is that once upon a time, it was home to Cormoran the Giant. 57. London's tradition of having sheriffs dates all the way back to the 7th century, and it's still going strong. They're not sheriffs in the way you might think. Protecting the city from evildoers in the style of a country and western, the sheriffs have to carry out the instructions of the High Court of Justice and also support the Lord Mayor and their jurisdiction only extends across the city of London. 58. London has six orchestras, the Royal Philharmonic, the London Philharmonic, the BBC Symphony Orchestra, the Philharmonia, Orchestra of the Royal Opera House, and the London Symphony Orchestra. 59. This rule was actually revoked in 1980, but until that date, all banks operating in the city had to be within a 10-minute stroll of the Bank of England. This was so the governor of the Bank of England could call an emergency meeting and have everyone in attendance within half an hour. 60. London's Bedlam Asylum used to be one of the city's most visited attractions. London's 18th century population used to head to the asylum to watch its inhabitants wreak havoc amongst themselves. 61. Norwich is home to one of the longest balconies in Europe. City Hall is one of the most prominent buildings in the city, known for its Art Deco characteristics and tower. But it is the 70-meter-long balcony which makes the Grade II structure particularly unique, as it is one of the longest balconies in Europe. 62. London has a comprehensive bus system covering pretty much every part of the capital. It's also the basis for one of the more astonishing facts about London. Each year, the buses on London's transport system drive over 300 million miles, which, when you tot it up, is more than 12 times the Earth's circumference. 63. Complete with gorgeous sandy beaches and historic homes and buildings, St. Ives is one of the best places in the west of England to visit. This is especially true if you want to experience some of the local charms of Cornwall itself. 64. Did you know that bungee jumping was born in Bristol? On 1st April 1979, a member of Oxford University's Dangerous Sports Club bungee jumped from the Clifton Suspension Bridge, and a new sport was born around the world. 65. It got so smelly in 1858, aka during the Great Stink, that London passed laws to stop the butchery of animals within the city and to stop people dumping sewage in the Thames. 66. Did you know that Windsor Castle is the oldest royal residence in the world that is still being used by the royal family, and that Buckingham Palace was built in 1702? 67. The ceremony of the constable's dues is when a navy boat has to pay a barrel of rum to the constable at the Tower of London in order to enter the Port of London. Of course, the whole procedure is surrounded by pomp and circumstance, because Londoners love a good show almost as much as they love a good drink. 68. It's illegal to wear a suit of armor in the Houses of Parliament, and has been since 1313 when the statute forbidding bearing of armor was passed. We know it really would have been fun to turn up in the public galleries in your ancestral suit, but it's just not worth the punishment. 69. Black cab drivers are worth their weight in gold. They'll navigate you home after a steaming night out on the town in the blink of an eye and without relying on unpredictable sat-nav systems. Rather than it being down to Jedi levels of innate London intuition, it's because they have to pass a ridiculously hard test called the knowledge to get their license. It generally takes two to three years of studying over 300 routes before you can pass. 70. In ancient times, it was not allowed for a random citizen to die in a run state facility. Some believe that such a rule is applied at England's parliament, but that's not true. 71. Want to meet Cambridge's largest resident? Head to the Museum of Zoology, where you'll be greeted by an enormous fin whale skeleton. Measuring 21 meters, it's one of the largest of its kind ever recorded and fills the entrance hall end to end. Thank you for watching the video. If you like to see more videos about England, post more in the comments below. Hope to see you next time.